Hello, welcome back. Last time I spent a long time on one puzzle and uh, thought I had what looked like a solution. Couldn't quite get it done though, for reasons I didn't understand. And I've been informed by a source I can probably trust that my progress here was halted due to game bugs. <laughs> so this may be uncompletable for me for some reason. I guess I have to wait for an update to the game. Uh, I should talk directly to the game author and get official confirmation of this. I'll, uh, I'll try and do that. So maybe I have a solution here that just refuses to work in my version of the game. This one I think I can make some progress on, I just didn't understand. So I think things are maybe not in as bad a situation as I thought. But let's go to At A Distance. Let's see what happens. This is the latest version of the game on the platform I'm playing it on. It is possible I was misinformed, but I don't know. Okay, this looks silly. Uh, somehow I need to propel something in such a way that... Oh, hang on. That's a place to stand. We got three crates, including the belongings. The pressure plate's way up there. Activating it is going to involve some shenanigans of a sort. Oh, it's worse than that. So what does that mean? That I can pull out the arrow and reinsert it. Now, this means that's the chirality that I've established at this point. Okay, so what do I think I want to do? The only thing that's backstop shaped... Okay, yeah, that is backstop shaped. It's one tile higher than this. Even so, I don't see how I'm going to use this to get those here. There's also potentially a place to stand here for me, but I don't expect to be able to use that. Okay, I have so few materials here. This is gonna be a very small possibility space. Ah, uh, you think so? <laughs> no, I don't actually. I certainly should not. But Hunch says... The solution will look something like... Wait, is that... Is that one more back? I can't tell where anything is, and the camera doesn't let me rotate to where I could. I don't have a grid or anything. No, this is one more back. It looks like, but is it? Or does, is that, like, grazing the side of it? I cannot tell. I think I need to... Shoot this arrow into something, like that, say. Then pull it off of there, which uh, is, haven't made the easiest thing in the world, but it's doable. Mount this up on it. Insert the whole package into the trap. And not be able to go where I want to go. Uh, I can fix it. Now, how has that helped anything? Okay, I guess the idea would be... Do I want the possessions on the bottom? Unlikely. But where do I want what? Not like that. No, I wanted... See, something does have to land on the plate still. Uh, 
Let's take a ride all the way out of the puzzle. How's that sound? That sounds like fun, I think. I believe I see a configuration where I can make that happen. This one? Oh. Well, that's... Kind of close to what I need, actually. I mean, okay, so that's shown me the solution. Is there any way I can still ride all the way out of the puzzle? I want to do it. Okay, so puzzle is solved, um, but I, I, there's something else I want to do now. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any way I can, though. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Check it. All right, how am I going to engineer this? With that, and... Okay, I'm just going to pull this out of its thing. No, wait. My plan was to put... Was my plan something impossible? No, I don't think so. Yeah, here we go. I can make it happen from here. Ah. No, my, my hands are still that way. Mm, if I had... This is not part of the puzzle. Okay, what if... This were... Like... This, and I did that. Here we go. Here we go! I'm gone! I, uh, hit an invisible wall and fall, and it tells me to undo, and I just kind of go through the geometry. There we go! Alright. I solved the puzzle. No, it's actually solved the puzzle the way it wants to be solved. <laughs> Okay, this one wasn't bad at all. This was highly doable. So that goes in there, and oh, I did kind of just blunder into the uh, the solution, but you know, I blundered during purposeful work. So this will just kind of do it, right? Not quite. Ooh, and neither will this. That's fine, though. All I gotta do is rearrange you. Oops. Like this, I think. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> well, that's fun. All right, so dunk. What are you about? Similar things, it looks like. Um, there's a crate way up there. So my impression is I probably want to shoot something... Okay, well I can do that. How am I going to remount that? I see how. That's fine. I uh, Yes, and that'll hold itself in place. Oh yeah, I can just, just walk over, pick this up, and shove. Okay, at least that arrow doesn't snap off. So I have access to this now. What's that going to do for me? What it's going to do for me is let me just kind of like shove this off and solve everything. Oh, what? <laughs> All right. Let me try this again and see if it works today. So I remember what I was trying to do. It was one of these. One of these. One of these and one of these. 
Snap. Okay, so that one still doesn't... Uh... Alright, I'll confirm with someone whether that's the correct solution or not. Uh, and if it is, then my game's broken. Alright, well, uh, do I want to mess with Bodyguard? I guess I do. Those other two went so well. Maybe this one will yield to me, finally. Okay, so a conclusion I came to since last time I looked at this was the presence of this geometry here unambiguously says my feet will go here. So, by the fact that that's here, I'm going to discard for now any solutions that involve just this flying along and resolving by, by flight. I must stand here and have... Okay, yeah, that's a way to get an elevation by one. Okay, so if my feet are here, then my arms are here. Then I need two tall, thin, something that goes over, then belongings. So that looks like... Uh, yeah, and if I'm not using flight, I can potentially fasten. However, everything else here uses flight. So yeah, that was the information I wanted to get from those other three puzzles around here. But maybe that's just the misdirection. You know, this is the one in the set that doesn't use flight. So if I could cross that gap with a single crate, then holding this there at that angle would be sufficient. Oh, can I, uh... Can I fly and hold this? Okay, if I were flying and held this... Oh, wait. That's... Oh, I solved it. Oh, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> I solved it. Check it. Here's what I do. I insert this into the trap so that it uh, is a stable surface. <laughs> um, okay, you, you're gonna need to move. <laughs> I put this here. Uh, I only need my tower this tall for... Okay, don't step on that so prematurely. Hold that there. Ah, the problem here is I can't activate the plate while I'm standing there. If I could, I would be done. Okay, remote activation. You are my issue. All right, yeah, of course that was too simple. I do think I probably want to fly across the gap. If I'm flying, I could be one higher. Okay, current impression... Well, why is this here, though? That's real suspicious to me. Why not just this if I'm flying across? Still does feel like I want to be here, standing one higher with belongings in hand, facing that way. Like, I make a, a move like that. And that is what causes the plate to be pressed. So... If I wanted that to cause the plate to be pressed... What could that mean? Or, if that's all packed tightly... Uh, perhaps just... Not enough distance. There are several other possibilities here, but I think I don't know. I think I'm on on a good trail. If I like stick this up here and stick this over here and stick this nowhere. So I have to drop something on the plate. From a place where... There's a contiguous line of stuff that I can fly on. I still have to be one more higher? 
Like the configuration I'm trying to use looks something like... Okay, so first of all, let's put the arrow in the end of the long box. That way I get a little bit more distance. Uh, don't put that there. Or there. How about here? A uh, little more distance to just stand up on a s solid surface. Although, mm, I don't know about that. Has that... No, that doesn't feel right to me. Okay, the body block there is nice. I do like body block. Uh, so if I swapped you with belongings... Do a body block there. Oh! Oh! Well, not quite, but could it be? Maybe. Yes, I think it could. If I could somehow have... This in hand. I don't know, is this exploiting things weirdly? The fact that picking up and putting down isn't a move that activates the thing? I don't know. I'm doing it. So, uh, thing is, how am I gonna make this happen? Uh, well, isn't that just this? No, it's not. What is it then? I can rotate once? Well, and then the plate's not down anymore, so I'm not really doing anything here. Every other turn, but not every other turn. <laughs> sure. Um, could I have done everything that I'm doing while one of these was all the way up here? Maybe. No, I don't think so. So again, there's still the possibility of uh, not sticking the arrow in the end of the long box, but that does seem like it's reasonably to my benefit, because then neither of these needs a crate under it. However, if it was... Eh, it'd be the same story if I did it the other way around. Okay, yeah, so closest was this. You think so? This feels exploitative.
How was it that I was able to get on top of there with uh, everything working out just like that? Yeah, by already being on top. Yeah, this feels exploitative. The fact that I can pick that up and move forward. I don't know, I'm suspicious of that as a... Uh, anything. Is there some way a state past here could do something for me? Or... hold up. Um, right, bodyguard. The reason I can't just do it with uh, stacking something up there and shooting that is because it hits my body. Ooh, I would have a problem if there was a crate here. This would not work because it would get shoved off that way. Snap. Okay, and I absolutely needed every one of these things to do what I'm doing here, right? Seems like it to me. Okay, so having worked with that, let's try uh, going back to arrow in a um, one by one and see how things work out with that. So I want to be somewhere around this tile and able to... I could be on this tile and like push something off there, which sounds not unreasonable. Yeah, okay. Now hang on. I see a pattern that looks pretty appealing. Ah, uh, does it? I can't get up there with that. And also, no, that doesn't even do what I wanted it to. Maybe I can be farther away than I think. doesn't have to involve the long one to do that. Hmm. However, if the long one's propulsion needs to be locked up until I'm up higher, no, that can't be, no. It's, it's, it has to be that I put the arrow in the end of this thing if I'm doing anything like what I'm uh, trying to do here. It could totally be that I'm just not even close to trying to do the right thing. But... It feels like that's reasonably close to what I want. So I'm seeing the way this falls down here, and wondering if that's anything to do with what's going on here. What about the long reach of the rotating uh, thingy, if it was like... 
Well, no. What I'm thinking would not work at all. But yeah, I'm wondering if there's some kind of, like... Shoving around from... Okay, what kind of reach can I get on this thing? Like, not that much, really. That just goes right through it. Alright, so just in isolation. Ways I can poke with this. So that's one... in two different axis directions from there. So that'd be like... If I was here and I wanted to poke something onto this... Okay, yeah, now we're starting to think. Alright, um, other similar things I could do. That. Oh, hey! Could that overcome the bodyguard problem on its own? Wait, hang on. How many do I need for... Too many. Yeah, because I need every single... Alright, so to do the... The obvious solution that is deliberately broken... Would take... Every crate that's here, right? Uh, okay, well, that's backward, but, you know, uh, yes. To get that up above, it would be, uh, everything. So... And I can't fasten the possessions onto anything... Because I need the arrow to fly. Yeah, it feels like I'm just kind of working backward here and getting farther away from what it was I wanted to do. So let's go back to when I was close-ish. That looked like this. Like there's some kind of... Going to the side here certainly does not help me. There's no other sneaky way I'm going to get up on top of things. I somehow just get a little more distance. At this point, that's, that's belonging is just super in my way. You go here. If I was holding the too long thingy... Here's this thing again. Yeah, so this is the closest I've been. Do that. I can pick that up and mysteriously walk over here. And then I'm real close, but not close enough. If I had one more crate right here where I'm standing, everything would be great. If I had one more crate. And it would have to be pretty much like that. No, no, I decided everything was not great. Um, because there wasn't a layout that I could use to get everything over. This would shove it off the left. This would shove it off the left before the arrow fired. So no, that is not a solution. Therefore... It's not just that I'm missing one crate here. I'm missing something larger.
Okay, so is that a fatal flaw with this that's not recoverable no matter what I do? Can I have, like, put a crate there early and, well, that wouldn't help anything. Or is there a way I could, like, get multiple stuff going over there and... I got a weird idea. Mm, can't reach it. Still, though, I'm thinking again about fasteners. As one does. Whoops, snap. that fastened on there. What kind of cool and interesting stuff can I do? An arrangement like... See, yeah, even that's kind of close to something good. Can I do something with this? Is this actually just, uh... I mean, no. Like, I can get a hold of this. And pull it back. That doesn't seem great. But, like, I can go here and really do nothing with it. That's the thing. Uh, if I stepped back, it could, uh, yeah, again, not really do anything. That is not accomplishing. Huh? No, what's that supposed to be? I'm trying to figure out how I can put this on a crate that's there. And I think the answer is I can't. Um, L shapes make it impossible to get over there, I determined. And I think I still believe that. Okay. So I still have nothing here? All right, well, I'm not going to spend all night on this. Um, I'm just going to say I got some new insights about that. I didn't actually mean to save and quit. I was going to go back to the map. Uh, <laughs> but the insights didn't lead to a solution. So bodyguard's going to stay as it is. Chain reaction's going to stay as it is until I talk to a certain Corey Martin about it. If I can get a hold of him. And in the meantime, let's go head up here. Hey, I have a crate that can be used to complete the, uh, the bridge there. All right, sure. At least I got two of those done. Reviving some vague sense of progress. Okay, so next time up here, these four fires, and uh, I'll check for news of other stuff and keep pondering bodyguard, I guess. Okay, I did some research. Turned out I wasn't running the version I thought I was. I had 1.0.24. The latest is 1.0.24b. The b makes a big difference. 175, huh? Is this fire lit or did I exit out quick enough? This fire is lit. Okay, so <laughs> my solution was correct. Uh, let's just redo this. I guess I should have been recording when I was testing this, but you know, I was doing something else at the same time and it wasn't convenient. So, uh, turns out this is the configuration. Just go here, do this. Boom, boom, boom. That particular one doesn't snap off and it just shoots into the fire. Okay, so. <laughs> well, that's that solved at least. All right, fine. Uh, bodyguard still just, I have some stuff to puzzle out. I don't think the game's broken. I am instead. <laughs>
<laughs> nah, I'm not. I just haven't figured it out yet. All right, I'll see you next time for this and then stuff up here. So, while I was at it, I decided to mess around with this puzzle for a bit longer, and I, uh, I figured something else. I tried a lot of different configurations. Uh, this was another one of those cases of just kind of trying stuff and oops, the puzzle was done, somehow. Uh, how did it work exactly? So yeah, arrow in the side of the thing. You go here, you go here, you go here for a moment. I wanna... Push that, that gets put over there. This is not the right configuration, but I can fix it from here. I want my belongings down here with me. They'll be in my hand. Somewhere. This goes on top. This gets pushed in there. Now, how the heck was this? I had to pull that back out or something. Put a crate on it. Yeah, and the too wide surface area of this right here. Being able to go back and forth while pushing with my body. And ascending while holding it both with my head and with my feet. I stay in continuous contact with it. Uh, I can't do this because I get pushed off, but I can do better if I face this way. I'm still in contact. I'm stopping that from shooting. As soon as I step here, it springs, and I have everything I need. There we go. Okay. Okay. It was just as fiddly as I thought, but my fiddling did eventually lead to the solution. Okay. There we go. Finally. So, <laughs> this whole shelf is done. I can leave it behind with no, no regrets, no work unfinished, and go forward up here into the next gate of hell. Okay. That's nice. Nothing at all to do behind me, as far as I know. A version of the game that works. And I'll see you again for these four fires.